Let's draw a wheel and tire, not from the straight on angle, but a little bit angle to try to give it some realism. This is a little tricky, but focus, you can do it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start with an oval. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just having a good time. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 I didn't have a new layer here. Big oval. Oh boy, look at that. See, mine's not perfect. Got it all oblonged, out of shape. Maybe the tire's flat, you never know. Got to overcome problems in racing in life, and sometimes that means a flat tire. So we're just letting this drawing take its course, whatever it turns into. There we go, I brought it back. An oval. Now here's the trick. This tire is going to be, it's not straight on, it's not full side view, it's going to be at an angle about halfway, about a quarter of a way, right? So what we want to do is see the tread, see the part that hits the road. So we're going to draw a parallel line with the edge of the oval that runs like that. Same height, top to bottom, as our oval, but runs like that. Got that? All right. Keep it in there. See if anybody's drawn. Anybody following along out there? Type it in the comments. Retweet us. We're going to be doing this every weekday that we can, okay? I like reading your comments out there. <laughs> MOB says, happy little swooshes. That's right. <laughs> All right, here's the next part. We have to connect a straight line from the parallel line to the oval on the top and bottom. All right, like this. There you go, bada bing, bada boom, there it is. As you can tell, mine's not perfect. I'm going back over it, that's okay. It's called a sketch. I'm gonna make it a little darker just to make it look more like a tire and wheel. There you go. All right, now I'm gonna do some more outlining, filling it in. If you're working with crowns and markers, this might work for you. Pencil's gonna be a little harder, but again, just making a rough sketch here. And then I'm gonna fill in the tread part. I want it to look like this wheel, even though it's sitting still, this tire has some speed in it. So I'm gonna follow the contour. All right, there's another art word for you. We're gonna draw a bunch of parallel lines to kind of follow the actual shape of the tire. So look at that, there's one line, got it? Just, just keep doing that until it's filled in. Arched lines like that. Now I know that our racing tires don't have tread. This kind of makes it look like they have tread, but that's not what I'm going for. I'm just going for some texture and some feeling here. So I'm even adding more in there and it's getting darker as I add it in there. You see that? See how it makes it look like if the light's coming from the top that there's a shadow on the bottom? It starts to really look kind of real, doesn't it? All right, now we have to worry about this wheel. We got the tire basically done. I'm gonna outline the inner oval here. Give it a little more darkness. Looking good, looking good. Very nice. Heck, that's a good year tire right there. But we want a wheel on this thing, right? We don't want this tire flopping around. It needs a wheel. Here's a trick. If you look at these wheels on your die cast or on pictures of the cars, the wheels are sunken in further than the tire, right? So if the edge of the tire is out this far, the wheel is going to be sunken in a little bit. And at the center of the wheel is a hub. And it's about the size of a baseball, give or take, maybe a softball. But we don't want to draw it perfectly in the middle, like right here. We don't want to do this. See how that looks like it's all just one flat plane? We don't want to put it there, so I'm going to undo that. We're going to put it to the left a little bit, back in here. See that? Now it looks like it's kind of sunken in. You see how if I draw a line to the edge of the tire, into the wheel, it has this appearance of it going inward. That's what we want, all right? And then we're going to add a lug nut above it beside it, down below that, and make a little star pattern for these lug nuts. Just some circles for now. Maybe we'll come back into it and fix it up. How about that? Now you can add all sorts of designs to make this wheel look like anything you want it to. There are a bunch of different car wheels, but we're gonna stick with the NASCAR designs and we're just gonna add some big gaps in here just to give it, give it some realism. And again, you can't see the ones over here because they're sunken in, right? This part of the tire is blocking it. You know what's missing? I know what's missing. You know what's missing on this? Goodyear, yellow Goodyear logos scripting on the outside. So I'm gonna take my yellow. This is gonna be hard if you're, if you're drawing with crowns. If you already drew in there black, you might, maybe we should have started with yellow, but uh, 
Anyway, if you can do this, add in some yellow with me. All right, here we go. I'll probably have some issues with the black too. I'm kind of drawing with digital crowns. All right, I'm just gonna scribble in some Goodyear here. Nothing, not really the actual letters, just, just some blobs that make people think about the letters. It'll be all right. See there? So the tire's sitting still when I do that. We can put Eagle over here if we want to. Now, how would you make it look like the tire's moving? Any ideas? I'm gonna read the comments while you're catching up, okay? By the way, I hope you all are doing well out there. We're making the most out of this time we're all in together and doing some race car drawing here, trying to do this every weekday. Checking the comments, seeing what's up. A lot of people watching, I appreciate that. Tell me where you're watching from. I'm in North Carolina, about five minutes from the race shop. Michael wants us to draw the uh, Daytona Speedway in the grandstands. That is an excellent idea. I'm gonna like that and mark it down maybe for the next episode. Thanks, Michael. Susan is impressed with my drawings. I appreciate that, Susan. You, you say you don't have artistic talent. Try again tomorrow to draw along with us. We're having some fun. Sean's still watching. Teresa says that uh, she loves this very much. Well, thank you. Love you, Teresa. Thanks for watching. Jimmy is paying tribute to Sam Bass, one of my course heroes. All right. You caught up yet? The question was, how do you make it look like the tire is moving? And if you said, well, if you make the yellow look like it's going all the way around the, the tire, you're correct. So what I'm going to do, you guessed it, swooshes, yellow swooshes this time. Just swoosh outline that tire and don't do it all the way around the same thickness. We want it to look like speed, like a blur, like those, like those lettering, that Goodyear lettering is getting motion blurry. See there, now it looks like that tire and wheel that was sitting still is spinning at 200 miles an hour. You like that? We'd have to do the same thing with the, uh, the lug nuts in there if you wanted to do that. In fact, they're going to be yellow too, so I'm adding some lug nut swooshes. And we can go back and grab our yellow and even add a little, a little more lug nut swoosh in there. Sometimes they're pink. Maybe I'll add some pink. So we have so much yellow in this already. How about some pink? Sometimes lug nuts are painted pink so you can see them really well. Same thing with our, our gaps in the wheel. Swooshing in there. Very nice, very nice. And I think we're gonna leave that wheel white. We don't want to run white wheels in our JGR cars, but I know some race teams do. And uh, so we're gonna leave that one white. Look at that. One more touch I'm gonna to add to this is a little bit of a highlight up top. So I'm gonna pick a light, 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 light gray. And I'm gonna swoosh it up, up top. Swoosh city, look at that. Now that is the fastest wheel I've ever seen. Unfortunately, it's not connected to a car, but don't worry, everybody is safe. This, this wheel is contained to the iPad. It's not bouncing around a racetrack. Look at that. By the end of this uh, series, by the time we get back to school and work, we're going to be able to draw every part and piece of a race car, I think. Okay, we're going to come out of this with uh, a few more skills. All right, well, I think that was a lot of fun. I don't know about you, but I enjoyed that. I haven't drawn in a while, and this opportunity has uh, given me a chance to pick up an old, an old hobby. What about you? You got any hobbies out there you're gonna pick back up during this time? I know not everybody has downtime. I've been working pretty hard during the day, but now in the evening I can get back to some hobbies. Um, and But maybe you have some time during the day where you can pick up some hobbies too. Punch it in the comments. Let me know where your hobbies are. And uh, like I said, if you drew along with us today, even if you didn't draw the same things, post those in the comments because I want to see those too. All right? All right, folks, I'm gonna read some more comments and then we'll be signing off. See Devin's in Oklahoma. Tracy says the battery's almost dead. Don't worry about it, Tracy. This is not going away. This will stay up. You can watch the replay whenever you want. Appreciate you all watching. Give me a retweet and a share and let your friends know if you want to draw with us. I see the the, uh, the Boris Fro is kind of glowing in our, in our screen here. It's, I'm not radioactive. Don't worry. It's just the green screen. All right. Well, y'all, thanks for watching. And um, this is Boris signing out. We'll see you tomorrow for some more doodling. This was a great first test episode. Thank you very much. Have a good one.